In this episode of GATV, we'll travel to Sebring, Florida and attend the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo that highlights the LSA industry. And we'll get some flight training tips from the instructors at Ocean Helicopters and North County Flight Training. Finally, we check in with Master CFI Jim Alsip for this segment of Hangar Talk. All right, you are go. Have you ever watched a small plane passing overhead and wondered what it would be like to fly? Well, here's your chance. North County Flight Training can start you on your way to becoming a pilot or even take you further into a career as a commercial pilot with their flight training from private through ATP. For those days when Mother Nature doesn't cooperate, North County Flight Training has a full motion flight simulator where you can log time and practice maneuvers in a safe, controlled environment. If you're already a pilot, North County Flight Training rents their fleet of aircraft starting at as little as $85 an hour including fuel. And because they're affiliated with Aircraft Maintenance Specialist, who is the area's Cessna Authorized Service Center, they're going to rent the cleanest, most well-maintained aircraft available. Their Discovery flights are only $99 and make a great gift. For more information, call 561-694-9282 or log on to NorthCountyFlight.com. GATV Online's website is devoted entirely to general aviation. Not only can you watch each episode of GATV 24-7, but GATV Online can be your one stop for all of your aviation needs. Like our flight planning page, where you can check the weather, plan your flight, and even file your flight plan. And the flying resources page gives you quick access to many other aviation websites. There are other pages that cover upcoming events, tell more about the GATV crew, plus please check out our sponsors links page whose support makes GATV and GATV Online possible. Neutral website is our flight training page with loads of information about becoming a private pilot or a sport pilot, including links for flight instruction and ground school. We always like to hear from our viewers, so drop us an email with any comments or suggestions. That's GATV and GATVonline.com. Okay, if you're ever wanting to share your experience of flight, there's really no better way to do it than with a HD camera and use video. 
Uh, it's hard to explain to somebody the sensation of flying unless they can actually see it and feel it. Um, we use the uh, Data Toys HVHD camera because it's so much easier to use than a big production camera. It's small, it's compact, but we get the same exact HD footage that we get out of our big cameras in a small, compact camera. Um, we're here with Wesley with Data Toys. He's going to tell us more about their new camera. What we got here is an uh, AVHD camera. It's an all-in-one system. It records a 1080p. Um, we have the screen, which is key. You can see where you're recording, and also there's an on-screen indicator telling you exactly what, uh, what time you're recording, and as well as a battery that shows you the life. Um, you pop in and out your SD card, very simple. Drag and drop onto your computer. You get your choice of a mount. You can either do suction, which we recommend in the cockpit, or you can do a clamp and mount it out on your wing. The camera is waterproof included. You get the aviation headset cable, which records all your audio, um, puts it right onto the same file as your video, and takes out that access to background noise. Uh, also in the camera is a top filtration lens that we include. Um, no more zebra effect with your uh, prop when you're looking uh, back at your video. And uh, it's really a good option to get some high quality video. For the camera, if you're interested and you want more information, feel free to go to our website, www.datatoys.com. Um, there's support and there's uh, emails and as well as live chat if you want to ask a couple questions or request a, a quote or some sort. I know when it comes to insurance, you've got a lot of choices. For the last six years, we've used AIR exclusively. Aviation Insurance Resources has uh, been insuring our airplane for us, um, and the rates have been incredible. Uh, twice, we've been contacted by uh, other companies, and uh, we've gone ahead and gotten a quote from them, and uh, they just haven't even come close. Uh, AIR, AIR has a great big market. Um, you're not dealing with just one company. They can go out and shop the market. Uh, they offer a lot of different uh, insurance uh, packages available for a lot of different aircraft. Uh, I'm going to let Chris tell us a little bit more about it. Uh, aviation Insurance Resources, we're a full service brokerage. We can insure turbine equipment all the way down to your light sport, which is why we're here at this show. Uh, we've been here from the show's inception. Uh, we can insure your hangars, uh, aircraft equipment, uh, all of your aviation insurance needs. Uh, we have all the major aviation insurance markets available to us uh, and, and feel that our experience uh, being on the, both the underwriting side in the past and the agency side, uh, we're able to tailor a, a solution to the client's needs. It seems like all the aircraft I'm flying in lately have these beautiful glass cockpits, uh, a lot of information in front of you. But even with that said, I still always travel with my AVMAP on my kneeboard. It's kind of uh, like my security blanket to go back to. It's a very easy unit to use. Um, it doesn't take a lot of training. It's uh, very intuitive. But no matter what aircraft I'm in, it always seems to be, uh, it gives me a better feeling to have a backup. And the uh, AVMAP that I fly with is kind of my backup that I take in every airplane, no matter how complicated the dashboard is. I'm um, here with Dan. He's going to tell us a little bit more about the new AVMAP. Yeah, we have the uh, brand new this year, the AVMAP EKP-5. Um, I believe you're flying currently with an EKP-4, so there's a couple additional features here, um, including uh, an internal antenna, an internal battery, uh, just to make it a little bit more portable. Um, we have full connectivity with all your onboard devices now, uh, part of that working through this docking station, which we'll be releasing here within the next month or two. What's very interesting about the docking station is that, uh, as opposed to some traditional docks we've seen in the past, all of your um, onboard devices, be it uh, your autopilot, say XM weather or a traffic system, can in fact be wired in through the docking station wow. so that when you attach the EKP-5 into the dock, all your connections are made and you can be completely wire free. Okay. Some of the new features of the EKP-5 include a more customizable map layout. where you can better customize different configurations of the map that you may want. 
and also including some new features like a vertical profile that can be shown on the bottom of the map that gives you a much better situational awareness in terms of terrain. Also, we have added a couple of buttons, one of them being the map key, a very simple button, but as you can see, as you get into your different menus and selections, no matter where you are in the system, you can simply hit the map button and always be right back to your navigation page, making it much simpler and much easier to use in the cockpit, a lot uh, fewer button entries to do what you need to do. We've also added the wheel. On the map it's working for zoom, and in the menus it works to navigate the menus. For more information on AvMap Navigation, please contact us at 800-363-2627. You can email us at info at avmapnavigation.com or visit our website at www.avmap.us. It's like flying a magic carpet, and if you want to experience it for yourself, Ocean Helicopters has a team of seasoned instructors that can train you for your private through ATP helicopter ratings with the FAA approved Part 141 Flight School that offers one-on-one -on -one instruction at your pace. Ocean Helicopters can also provide aerial photography, banner towing, and sightseeing tours. Ocean Helicopters flies the safe and versatile Robinson R-22 and R-44. Plus, for your turbine transition, they have the awesome Bell 206 Jet Ranger. An affiliate of Ocean Helicopters, Bahamas Helicopters has virtually the same services in the islands of the Bahamas. Ocean Helicopters is located in sunny West Palm Beach, Florida where we fly year-round and they can assist out-of-town students. For more information, contact them at 561-625-1900 or visit their website at oceanhelicopters.com. Treasure Coast Avionics in Fort Pierce is your one stop for all of your avionics needs. They have a huge inventory of parts and the expertise to service all major brands of electronics. Whether you need service certification or a panel upgrade, Treasure Coast Avionics can get the job done right. If you're looking for that new panel, they have state-of-the-art design capabilities with CNC machining to turn your dream panel into a reality. Treasure Coast Avionics is located on field at the St. Lucie County International Airport. Click on their logo on the GATV online website for more information. If you're looking for a weekend retreat or a primary residence in a residential flying community, Heaven's Landing may be just the place. Located in northeast Georgia, where they enjoy beautiful weather year-round, Heaven's Landing has a laid-back mountain lifestyle that is easily accessible through the use of general aviation. Here you will find 300 home sites, averaging one and a half acres each, with taxable lots or spectacular mountain views and community hangars. Heaven's Landing also has a lighted 5,069-foot concrete runway that can accommodate everything from a Piper Cub to a Learjet and they even have fuel on site. If you would like to find out more about this beautiful residential flying community, contact Heaven's Landing at heavenslanding.com or simply dial 1-800-HEAVEN-2. Alright, we're in the booth with the Seaplane Pilots Association. I'm standing in between two of the biggest influences that on my life lately. <laughs> One is Steve, who got me involved in uh, seaplanes, and the other is Morgan, who was my instructor, who taught me how to fly seaplanes. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Even if you're not going to be a seaplane pilot, it's a great rating to go take. It's all, it's, it'll make you a better pilot, uh, along with it just being a blast. It's a very laid-back rating. Uh, you can do it over a weekend. Uh, grab a buddy and you know go spend a couple of days up at Browns or one of the other places and get your rating but it, it's a lot of fun. I'm Steve McCoy. I'm the executive director of the Seaplane Pilots Association. We're very excited because this year we're celebrating our 40th anniversary and we are the national and international organization that has a big advocacy role for seaplane pilots. We help maintain waterways and make sure that they're open and accessible to our pilots. We also have educational programs. We're working on scholarship programs right now. 
In addition to the educational role we're doing, uh, we've brought on an in-house CFI named Morgan Araldi. She's going to be assisting flight schools and CFIs that do seaplane training so we can better support them. And uh, we're going to be at uh, activities all year. Uh, through different, we'll be at Sun and Fun, we'll be at Splash Ins, organizing Splash Ins all over the country. We'll be at Oshkosh and of course the Greenville International uh, Fly In in Greenville, Maine in September. So please uh, keep watching GA TV. We're going to be having an active presence here on the uh, show and uh, we're glad to be a part of it. My name's Morgan Raldi. I'm the new part time in house CFI for Seaplane Pilots Association. Um, I'm going to be around for all of the events that we have and mostly for support. What we want to do is get more people involved, get more system going for our CFIs out there creating new seaplane pilots. That's obviously the route. So we've got some new exciting things with Seaplane Pilots Association. Um, a forum will be online adding again to that support system for all of our CFIs out there. So I'm here mainly to support um, the people already in the community, all of our instructors already, um, the students coming in. The most important thing is our new pilots, our new seaplane pilots. So what we want is a good community and support system in place for them. So if you have an interest in the Seaplane Pilots Association and what it's like to join our lifestyle flying seaplanes, please contact us at the Seaplane Pilots Association. You can go to our website www.seaplanes.org. There's an 800 number on the website. You can contact us. You can contact myself at steve at seaplanes.org and uh, we'll be happy to assist you and start you on your journey becoming a seaplane aviator. Thank you so much. So as a 21 year old CFI I know personally that a lot of people are destined to go into the right seat of a CRJ as we have heard mentioned previously um, but the big thing with flying seaplanes is it's addicting, it's fun, it's back to basics and it reminds you why you love to fly. So all of the CFIs out there who want to do something different and want to really enjoy flying come join the seaplane pilot community. <laughs>
we know who has control of the aircraft because it's most important before anything else that we fly the aircraft and know who's in control. So positive control, positive release. Very important when you have student, an instructor, or two pilots flying a mission. We always want to make sure we know who's got control of the aircraft and that they are the one that's going to be flying the aircraft. Now let's check in with Master CFI Jim Alsip for this segment of Hangar Talk. Hello, my name is Jim Olson. Welcome to my hangar classroom and the video production set for Hangar Talk. Hangar Talk is a feature of GA TV Online. Each week, Dave East and I share with you flying tips, anecdotes, and comment that will promote your flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. Pilots have a propensity to roll an airplane. Put a pilot in an airplane simulator and one of his or her first maneuvers is a roll. Put a pilot in a high performance aerobatic aircraft and the airplane and pilot become one as they roll and roll and roll some more. So what is behind a pilot's propensity to roll an airplane? Does it even matter? It is what it is and it's a good thing. Pilots want to roll because they aspire to have fun. Aviation should be about fun, emotion, and accomplishment. All good fun, but there is a dark side. The role performed at a low altitude. The propensity to include a role in a low pass over ground observers is part of our heritage from the golden days of aviation. That scenario is not the place for a demonstration of the role. Every year, general aviation suffers fatalities because of low-level maneuvers. Safety seminars, flight instructors, and every aviation organization speak to the consequences associated with maneuvers done at low altitude. Their message is don't perform low-altitude maneuvers. It is okay to have fun and succumb to your propensity to roll, but do it at a safe altitude and only roll airplanes certified for aerobatics. Do not teach yourself to roll or perform any other aerobatic maneuver. Take lessons and please keep those maneuvers at a safe altitude. Dave East and I hope you enjoyed this edition of Hangar Talk and we look forward to our next time together. Thanks for watching and if you like the show please tell your friends. Until next time this is Jim Alsop reminding you to have fun, fly high, and keep the blue on top.
This episode of GATV has been brought to you by Aviation Insurance Resources, Data Toys Digital Video Systems, Ocean Helicopters, North County Flight Training, Treasure Coast Avionics, Dillon Aviation Master CFI Jim Alsa, AVMAP Satellite Navigation, Heaven's Landing Residential Flying Community, and Piper Aircraft. When we travel to film GATV, it's always in our dependable Piper. But that's all we have time for. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you get a chance, send us an email. We would love to hear from you. And if you're not a pilot, go take a discovery flight. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. But if you are a pilot, take a kid flying. Fly safe.